This question belongs to computer organization subject and was asked in game CSC 2014 set 2. So the question states, consider a main memory system that consists of 8 memory modules. So we have memory modules M1 to M8. Attached to the system bus. So all of them are attached to our system bus. Which is one word byte. So system bus size is one word byte. Which means when a write request is made, the bus is occupied for 100 nanoseconds by the data address and control signals. So the bus would be occupied for 100 nanoseconds when a write request is made. During the same 100 nanoseconds and for 500 nanoseconds after, the addressed memory module exit, executes one cycle accepting and storing the data. After this 100 nanoseconds, it takes 500 nanoseconds more for some internal computation. The internal operation of different memory modules may overlap in time, which means two memory modules can do the internal operation at the same time. But only one request can be on the bus at a time, which means this 100 nanoseconds should be unique. The maximum number of stores of one word each that can be initiated in one millisecond is. Okay, see, when a write request is made, then the bus will be occupied for 100 nanoseconds. And then we will do internal operation for 500 nanoseconds. But between two write operations, so we can have a write 1 followed by a write 2. So between two writes, at least 100 nanosecond interval must be there. They must be separated by 100 nanosecond because boss is busy for 100 nanosecond. Now after the write request for 100 plus 500 for internal, which means 600 nanoseconds, the corresponding memory module will be busy storing the data. But we can assume that the next stores are to a different memory module. They are given that there are 8 memory modules. So we can assume that the next store will be for M2 and when M2 is busy, next store will be for M3 and so on. Which means these 500 can overlap because we have 6 memory modules. So we can have consecutive stores at interval of 100 milliseconds. So we can have store 1 followed by store 2 separated by 100 milliseconds because the bus is busy for 100. The module is also busy for 500 more time but we can use different modules. So different stores must be separated by 100 nanoseconds. So answer to this question is we need to find maximum number of stores in 1 millisecond. So 1 millisecond, so it will be equal to 1 millisecond divided by 1 store will take 100 nanosecond. 100 nanosecond. So it is equal to 10 to the power minus 3 second divided by 100 into 10 to the power minus 9 second. So it comes out to be 10,000. The answer to this question is, in one millisecond we will have 10,000 number of stores.